More than 100,000 breast cancer patients undergo mastectomies every year, and for many, driving a car is extremely painful. KDK consumer investigator Megan Schiller introduces us to something hitting the market that aims to solve that problem. For breast cancer survivors, returning to the simple activities of life can feel like a blessing, but they also can feel uncomfortable. That's why Ford created a new device in order to encourage women to get back behind the wheel again. Cars enable us to live independently and get where we need to be. But the seatbelt means pain for survivors of breast cancer. I chose to do a double mastectomy. The pain from the mastectomy itself was something you'll never forget. But I'm a, a knitter, right? I put a shawl in between myself and the safety belt to try to make it more comfortable. Dondi is one of countless women excited to no longer dread driving in the car or pulling the seatbelt away from their chest. I was very happy to see that somebody finally did something about it. Emily Obert works for Ford and helped design the support belt with input from so many women. And she tells KDK it solves a comfort and a safety problem, plus it looks good. We also looked at what's out there on the market and nothing is really at the quality that say a vehicle interior um, would be at. And so it was really important based on the, what we heard from our interviews and also as Ford Motor Company to put something out there that really fit seamlessly with our vehicle interiors. And as we kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the support belts hitting the market today. I don't want to say sold because we are actually giving it away through our Ford merchandise store. We do have people ask that they pay for the shipping, um, but the actual product um, is free. Now, at this time, this seatbelt device is only available for people who currently or will drive in the future Fords and Lincolns. We're going to post all of the information on how you can get your hands on one over on our website, kdka.com. Reporting in the South Hills, I'm Megan Schiller, KDKA News. Oh, what a wonderful development.